Welcome to Let's Have a Chat with Rachel Belladonna. This is my new YouTube series and I want you guys to participate in this. Send me questions, send me topics on all of my social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything Rachel Belladonna. So <laughs> tonight's question comes from Facebook. Let's see. <clears throat> Kim Smith Kim Smith wrote, what was the last scary and good horror movie you've watched? Oh, fuck. It's <laughs> a good question. It's a great question, actually. Um, For me, I think I'd have to go with The Conjuring 2 for one scene. The movie itself did scare me, but the scene with the nun at the end of the hallway that part the iconic scene the iconic the scene iconic scene of that movie i could not sleep for two weeks i'd wake up have to go pee or want water and i walk out to my hallway i'm like nope 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 she's gonna right and even that's what she's gonna appear me, just from it being like a fun because it was a painting right yeah like, yeah just the fucking painting and then they came like running at you oh like, my god yeah so like you have the scene when she's in the hallway she walks off and then lorraine follows her into the little attic thing yeah. thingy and she saw the, the painting that her husband painted and it came to life. I don't know about y'all, but that's one of my worst nightmares. I love art, but I don't want any of my artwork coming to life and chasing me, especially if it's a demon. But then they made a movie out of it. <laughs> and that sucked. And it became the worst <laughs> thing ever. The only and now the nun is a fucking comedic joke. Yeah. <laughs> you look back on it. And that you movie just fucking laugh. The only scary thing in that movie was the snake coming out of her mouth. I'm terrified. Yeah, I'm yeah, terrified of snakes. <laughs> I'm so terrified of snakes. And when they announced that they were gonna do a non movie, I was so happy and excited that you oh, were? I was. I wasn't excited. I was, I I was exactly so excited. I was thinking, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to sleep for a whole year. I was so not excited. I was and then they fucked up the whole yeah. thing. I did, that's exactly what they fucking do. They take a good thing. because For once, for once, Hollywood had something good with The Conjuring. Yeah. And The Conjuring too. But Mind then after you, that, they're just all like, All of oh this god. is based on true events. So you go see the movie and then you research the cases and you're like, oh fuck that is insane yeah to an extent well minus the nun because that was well, yeah yeah <laughs> but even then just having that just having a trajectory path for hollywood period yeah aside from fucking um paranormal activity which i think was oh. their, like last big masterpiece which yeah. wasn't even intended to be hollywood it was yeah. just an indie film that blew up that but movie was pretty fucking cool to have not one but two fucking movies in Hollywood that were horror films that everybody was like, hey, this kind of doesn't suck. Yeah. They were like, hey, oh my god, let's run with it. And that's when they fucking ruined the entire thing. Yeah. And they were like, hey, let's take the greatest thing from The Conjuring 2. Make a movie about it. And let's fucking ruin it. But Let's fucking ruin the absolute Don't worry, kids. You'll be able to sleep tonight because this movie's so horrible. Also, no fucking reason. There's no... <sighs> plausible backstory as to why they made the nun by itself it had yeah. nothing to do with the conjuring universe mm -mm. they just magically fit her into there because that was the most iconic scary scene in the fucking movie that is seriously the one scene that so many people have talked about when it comes to modern day horror movies for me i saw it in the theaters and i had to go and get drunk in order to go home and sleep that night and i still stayed awake I'm sitting in bed thinking like, oh, I need to go get water. Nope, nope. She's going to be at the end of the hallway. Yeah, Wait, mommy, just... That's why it fucking bothers me. It was the one fucking modern take that they had that yeah. was really fucking good that everybody was like, yeah, this was really fucking scary. And then they went and they fucking ruined it. But just, same like Hollywood shorts that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Not, I'm sorry, not Hollywood shorts, but regular shorts, like indie film shorts. We're talking about lights out. Even earlier. foreign like horror movies, they try to Americanize it, and it just comes it short. It. it comes short. Looking at you, Blumhouse. 
I'm looking at you, Blumhouse. Truth or dare, really? Yeah. I'm not getting into that. I'm sorry. But no, now, go on. I, I kind of want to go and do Truth or Dare now. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go on good fucking horror movies. Oh. But same shit. I just hate when they take... Same thing, Lights Out, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Really amazing short. Everybody really fucking liked it. That it was scared the fuck out of me. As the short. A short. Yeah. Just the lights on, lights off. Yep. They're fucking coming up. Ah, Iconic yeah. fucking thing. And then, of course, Hollywood had to go and get its grubby fucking hands on it and ruin it by turning it into a movie. Why? Do they worry about making movies too scary these days? Do no. you think? What, like... Like Hollywood corporate? Yeah. No, they don't. They don't give a fuck. In fact, what they're doing is the exact opposite. They're pandering to PG-13. So even if... That's a great thing. So they come up with these things. Even on these shorts that we see. These very great indie shorts. A lot of the shit on Crypt TV, by the mm, way. As a yes. real example. Yeah. On Crypt TV, they stole in half of those. And they're like, well, we can make our own fucking movie out of it. But instead of showing the whole guttural scenes, like the very disturbing shit, the shit that actually makes it yeah. stick in your mind, yeah, they take all of that shit out. They make this weird fucking stupid teenage premise like, oh, we're babysitting and we're not doing a good job. So we're we're babysitting, but we're gonna pull out the bottle of whiskey and all and drink. Yeah. But we're not gonna pay attention to the noise we just heard upstairs. Or the bye bye man. Have you seen the fucking Bye Bye Man? Yeah. That was very cringeworthy. And do you remember that trailer? Yeah. The trailer of the Bye Bye Man had nothing in the actual fucking movie. Exactly. And it's so stupid. And there was no noticeable structure. and made no sense. So, uh, same thing with Ouija. Oh, God. I'm just so sick. So, no. No, my long story. My long answer story is just no. <laughs> Long answer short. Long answer short, no. Answer short, no. Hollywood does not give a fuck. They, <laughs> they dumb it down just so more stupid teens can go see in scary movies and be like, ooga booga. <laughs> Look, this teen saw a Ouija board and now, now she's hanging herself from the fucking third story of fucking Christmas lights, hanging herself. As oh, if that shit's yeah. just gonna sustain her. Where does she even tie it? That was a Ouija board, by the way. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler. Not even spoilers, because it was the introductory. Oh, yeah, Like, yeah. she went, and I guess she, like, went and saw the Ouija board, and the demon, the demon didn't possess her, but the demon was, like, there. And she, The demon was like, yeah, I'll trick y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the demon was like, yeah, trick, yeah. And then she literally went to the second, they didn't have What? Doors, they had the second door. What do you think? And she took Christmas lights and hung herself from the fan. And we're like, the it's fuck? not going to support her. Yeah. I don't know if anyone ever played around with Christmas lights, but that shit will break very fast. Yeah. Even just wrapping it around a fucking tree, the lights can't give out <laughs> and everything. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to analyze movies to, to that point, but there's sometimes you'll sit and watch something and you're like, oh yeah, that would totally not work in real life. Yeah. And I think that's like a really big disconnect. Yeah. It's fun. But there are others that are hit. This is true. Midsummer. Did you see Midsummer? I did not yet. Oh, you haven't seen Midsummer. It's been ruined for me. That's my problem. I have a lot of asshole friends that will go see a movie mm -hmm. knowing good and goddamn well that yeah, I want to see the movie and they're like, so let me tell you who died first. No! How about you just go eat with me and then let's yeah. go see the fucking movie. Thank you also. That's a good point. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. If somebody hasn't seen a movie, Don't ruin it. Don't post online. Don't call your friend up and be like, hey, I know you want to go see or this movie. Or if you're going to do it, then just at least preface it with spoilers. Yeah. Like, spoiler that'd be really alert. nice. Like, hey, spoiler alert. Yeah. No, no. I have Don't those, just say shit. I have those asshole friends that will call me leaving the theater like, hey, you know Black Widow died? Now I do. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking assholes. 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 So, um, as far as horror, what do you think that Hollywood could do differently to make it be something that we're still excited to see and give us the same reaction as 
when we saw our first horror movie. Fucking care. Actually care. Don't yeah. think about shit like as corporate does. Don't think about it like a cash grab. Mm -hmm. Just care. Yeah. Because half the shit that not even half now, like you, we were talking about earlier, 95% of the shit that they do, they steal from shorts all right together. Yep. Or they'll do some stupid gymnastics where they're like, oh my God, you saw this short? That's great. Well, you can enter our contest where you yeah. could possibly want to roll to meet all these great directors. But in yeah. the fine print, it's like, hey, we can steal your shit and yeah. just walk away from it. That's it. And it's stupid. But I think if they actually gave a shit, Exactly. I'd, I'd, I'd do a lot more. Because there's a lot of creative people. On the, and the... um The effort. Put effort into... Like, going back to Paranormal Activity, that was such a low-budget film to sit and think about how the whole thing was made. But I remember going to see it in the theaters and pissing myself. No joke. Mm -hmm. No joke pissing myself to the point where I was like, holy shit. Walking out of the theaters... All these people are like, oh, well, you know, they never found Katie, so be on the lookout for her. It's it's not a nonfiction movie. But. That was a really good thing, right? Yeah. Like, at least with Paranormal Activity, the very first one, they had two things on their side. Very low budget, like yeah. you said. Yeah. The number one thing that they had on their side was extremely good marketing. Mm -hmm. And all the marketing was was... Hey, we did a bunch of Found test shit. Found footage, yeah. Yeah, it was a bunch of test shit with people watching this, and it fucking scared the shit out of people. Yeah. So obviously it got them. They turned, what was it, like $10,000 or $15,000 into yeah. like $30 million. Like, they made yeah. 10 times their profit. They banked that movie. Off like, of holy hell. Yeah, it was incredible. Just it was like fucking incredible. Going to the screening, I went to one of the screenings. I'm sitting there with one of my best friends. And the major jump scare at the end when Micah comes flying to the camera, I jumped into my friend's lap and screamed so fucking hard, looked at her, and we were like, yeah, man. <laughs> I heard a noise in the background and I had to jump. <laughs> what was also effective about that film? was something that they haven't done in a very long time because it was very generic since The Ring, which we're also yeah. going to talk about. Ooh. <laughs> since The Ring, it was always just what haunts you at night, what haunts you at night, mm -hmm. what haunts you at night, what haunts yep. you at night. Paranormal activity was just like, this bitch can haunt you during the day, too. Yeah. Like, you that can wake up like, and oh, you think when you go to sleep, yeah, you're safe. No, I'm dragging you, you out of the yeah, bed. During the day. And I think that's what really set it apart. Yeah. You know, like, holy, like, everybody was just like, shit. I will it's never. Been so long. One of the scenes in that movie, right before the end with the major jump scare, I remember her being in bed and she was talking in a demonic voice. But it was a dual talk. Yeah. Shit. It, you yeah. hear her verse, voice and then you hear the demonic voice and you're like, oh. The dual talk. Yeah. Oh. Leading up to the whole jump scare. And of course, that happens and you see her, there's blood all over her face and she lunges toward the camera. Oh. And that's why it was so weird because it really had you like second guessing yeah. yourself because you're like, uh, am I really? Doing yeah. That? Am I really? Like, yeah. No, like turn towards your friends. Like, like you are here in both of those, right? Because it was just that early enough. And did she actually kill him? And I guess not really early <laughs> enough because the Exorcist did it a long time ago. Clearly. Ooh. Yeah. Also another thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about. I felt bad with that movie. I remember seeing it when I was 13, and. Not really, I didn't think it was as scary as a lot of people thought it was back in the day when it was first released. I can completely understand and appreciate that now, but 13-year-old Rachel was like, this is not a scary movie. No, no, rewatch it a couple of times and actually pay attention to that. That was one of the ones that was kind of based on an actual event. Yeah. Yeah. That was the thing that really scared the hell out of me. Like after I saw it when I was 13 and when I got into based on actual event movies, I went back and I, I read the case and then watched the movie and was like, holy crap. I can't imagine being back in what the 70s and watching this movie thinking like, holy crap, you can 
you can have shit go into you and then you're you're fucked. You and your family are fucked. And it was really like the exorcist was the first of its kind. Yeah. Really. And I think I was I was in the same boat that you were, kind of even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we watched it as a family, but I was like fucking five. Yeah. Dude, I had no idea what was going on. I had no <laughs> comprehension of what scary was, what right, anything yeah. was. Like, I was just watching whatever the fuck was on TV. So we watched it, like, as a family. I remember being so fucking bored that I fell asleep. Oh, my God. I fell asleep, too, the first time yeah, I saw it. because it was just Twice. so yeah. slow-paced. Yeah. And being a kid, and it was so slow-paced, I was just like, <sighs> you know, like, what, what the By fuck By the ever. time this pea soup is springing out of her mouth i'm like this is yeah not and even the, I, I didn't have any appreciation for it because i was already fucking and by the time i woke up it was over so uh -huh. i was like okay great whatever so yeah. i went to sleep but going back and watching it like yeah. just a few years later absolutely it killed me i remember the first time i watched that movie with my mom like when it came out my mom said she was completely terrified the whole time the whole movie and at first, I was when like, they're actually paying attention, yeah, that Rosemary's Baby and the Omen, like I feel like those, the exorcism, like, the exorcism of Emily Rose, holy, shit. that was, you know, that was was that the one where um that bitch was, <laughs> that's so rude, <laughs> like that. the, the, but I mean like the dude who was just like I'll never film like child exorcism. He was supposed to do his last exorcism. No. no that Exorcism, yeah, I'm sorry, never mind. No, the exorcism, the exorcism of, of Emily Rose. Emily Rose Jesus, that movie. I didn't watch it, but I, I remember. I watched that movie once, and I will never rewatch it. They used the the sounds of the actual exorcism they used in the movie, and to me, that's I don't like that. I don't. Like that. That's crossing the line, like. I get you want your movie to be popular and, and scary and all of that, but using the actual audio footage of someone going through an exorcism, to me, that's crossing okay. a line. Yeah. And you I don't need that. You don't. You really don't. Before, you really don't. Like you could do a lot less. Going back and reading the case, like the movie, there's a lot of differences. And I, I, I understand why they did that, but. It was kind of a chilling movie, though. That from was what, from what I remember. It was kind of a chilly. Movie. That was but one of those movies much. that I watched once and I can never rewatch. I'll see it on like Netflix or whatever and just completely scroll past yeah. it. Or if I see an an article about the movie or if there's something some kind of video, I scroll past it really fast because I just I remember not being able to sleep so long <laughs> after seeing that movie. You. It was and before I even saw the movie, I was. Like listening to the the original shit, what actually happened in real life, and them telling the story of how they ripped the audio and put it into the movie, and then how everyone that was working on the movie got haunted and everything. Yes, so I forgot about that. Yeah. That was a real thing. And everyone got haunted at during making that fucking movie. That was the crazy thing about that. Waking up at 3 in the morning and your alarm clock's going off or your phone's playing some weird-ass song. I can imagine being on set, filming a movie like that, and then have some crazy shit like that happen. Insanity! I can. No, you're right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Enemy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think like with the based on true events horror you have you do have to be careful because people are gonna want like all of the major details in those movies but can you really put all the major details no, in them? Can't. That's the that I can't you imagine can't something That's the whole thing like you can't imagine like sitting there at the like, just picture yourself as somebody who literally got their whole family or even somebody very close to them murdered. Yeah. And then all of a sudden Hollywood's like, hey, let's turn this into a fucking movie. As so aside from you getting caught Something like the Amityville not... Horror, you know? <laughs> yeah, that goes further. But, yeah. <laughs> but even then. We're like, going to have a full video. That, they're just like completely like, fuck you. Like yeah, we'll have a whole video about Amityville Horror. <laughs> I think she's, she's a horror movie right here. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for checking out the... <laughs>
for checking out the first episode of Let's Have a Chat with Rachel Belladonna. Remember to submit your questions, your topics to any of my social media. I will give you guys a shout out and be like, hey, this came from blah, blah, blah. All right, guys, all of my information will be under the, the video. Somewhere right in here. Down in the description. Down in there. <laughs> Thank you again to Joy for joining me for our horror conversation. Say we'll, be, we'll be back with more shit next week. Bye, guys. What? 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 What?